If you own a gaming PC that's using Windows 10, it's very possible that your OS has not been optimized because you aren't using the following Windows settings that can significantly improve your gaming performance and heavily reduce any sort of input delay. And yes, this optimization guide will benefit any PC and will also be quick, it'll be safe and it won't require any downloads. So if this does help, please drop a like and also subscribe for more future guides. All right, so firstly, to be safe, we are going to make a restore point via going onto the desktop, clicking on the start menu, then simply typing in system restore, then click create a restore point. This will bring up your system protection, and then if you go to the bottom where it says create, click on that button, then simply rename it to whatever you want. I'm going to call it Windows 10 Optimization, like so, then click create. You will see once created, if you go into system restore, then choose a different restore point, you will see our restore point is right there, and this is what you can go ahead and click on and revert to if you get any sort of issues after this tutorial which I imagine 99% of you won't and will actually benefit from. I just thought I'd mention this in case anything goes wrong with your system so you can revert it back to normal. After that though we can now start the Windows 10 optimizations by firstly going back onto that start menu right clicking on it then opening up the device manager. Inside of here you want to find a drop down that's called system devices just drop that down and then if you have a little scroll you should see a timer called high precision event timer and this timer right here often leads to lower FPS for most systems so what most people tend to do is right click on it and disable the device which I myself am doing. However if your system does get worse and you get more FPS with having it disabled you can go ahead and re-enable it but most of you will will benefit from having it disabled as I myself have. After closing it down on your desktop again you want to press the two following buttons at the same time that's Windows key and R. Then in the run box simply type in temp like so and this should bring up your temporary Windows files. We're then going to press the following commands that's Control and A. This will select everything then go ahead and press delete and this will delete the majority of your temporary files. Some just can't be deleted that's fine. After that you can do the same thing with percentage sign temp then percentage sign again. This will open up more temporary files. Do the same process Control A then delete. You'll see again some actually can't be deleted and that's fine. Then the final one is pre fetch like so. This again will open up more temporary files that we can go ahead Control A delete and delete all of. Obviously some aren't deletable and that's absolutely fine as you can see. After that on your desktop go to the bottom left, right click on that start menu then go into your settings and the majority of all these settings right here we will be changing so I will refer to this menu right here quite a lot. Now firstly in system we're going to go over to power and sleep, click on that on the left hand side then click additional power settings. Inside of here we are going to create a custom power plan but firstly you want to go over to the left hand side where it says choose what the power buttons do then change settings that are currently unavailable and this will mean that these settings right here, these shutdown settings will be customizable and this setting right here called turn on fast startup it's recommended by default but you'll notice on screen when this is enabled it actually makes your PC not shut down fully and you'll be surprised to see that your uptime could be anything from like three days as mine is right here to like 30 days and that's not what we want so if you go ahead and uncheck this save changes then restart your PC you'll notice when you then check your uptime again it'll be completely reset which can significantly improve your performance. After that it's time to customize our power plan and by default balanced is on which is recommended and is probably best for most people but if you want high performance click on the high performance tab which favors performance but it may use energy which is fine with myself if it's not for you just use balanced but if you click on that then click on change plan settings inside the change advanced power settings we can create a custom power plan. Now firstly in the PCI Express setting here, click the drop down then the drop down again and make sure the setting is off. Also under processor power management, click on that and make sure these settings are on 100% active and then 100% again. And if you've got all of them configured like so, which I myself do, click apply and OK. After that you can go back into the system settings, but this time you want to click on the storage on the left hand side. Then in here straight away you want to make sure that storage sense is enabled. I myself am a massive fan of it 
and in addition to enabling it I like to configure it to actually run every single week and this will clean up a lot of space and it will actually help your hard drive out a ton. After that you can simply revert back and you want to go back over to the system settings, scroll down to where it says remote desktop, give that a click and make sure this is disabled. It will ask if you want to disable it, click confirm and I definitely recommend this as most people will not need to use remote desktop. And then finally in the system settings again you want to click on about and then in the about section over where it says advanced system settings on the right hand side you'll see under the advanced tab right here where it says performance click on settings then inside visual effects you'll notice that it's adjusted for best appearance by default but we want to adjust it for best performance with these four options turned on the first one is enable peak the second one is show thumbnails instead of icons the third one is show window contents while dragging and the fourth one is smooth edges of screen fonts and these four options right here are the essential ones in my opinion and don't affect performance like the other ones do that much. I think these are definitely essential. Then click apply, click OK. Also while in that advanced tab, if you go back into performance but under the advanced tab right here, make sure programs is enabled as this is way more optimal than having it on the background services which I think it is by default. Make sure programs is enabled. Then back into the settings tab, you want to click on devices, then mouse on the left hand side, then choose the additional mouse option setting. Then in Inside the point options tab, you firstly want to make sure that the default window sense is on 6 out of 11, that's the notches right here, and you also want to make sure that this enhanced point of precision is unchecked, as what this does is it disables mouse acceleration, and that's absolutely awful for gaming, and most pros don't use it. Remember to apply and press OK. In the system settings again, this time you want to click on personalization. On the left hand side, click on colors. Then if you scroll down slightly, you should see transparency effects. And what this setting does is it makes certain things like the taskbar and start menu transparent but that does take up more performance. So what we want to do is uncheck this, and what this will do is it'll make everything no longer transparent, but I think it still looks just as cool, and you get slightly more performance. Heading back over to the settings tab, if you go into apps this time, then go on the bottom option on the left hand side, that's startup, then in here I recommend turning off um, any non-essential startup apps, like for myself, Spotify, that really doesn't need to launch as soon as I launch my PC, so I'm going to go ahead and disable that. If I want it, I can always just open it up, and with it being high impact, um, I think that's quite important to do. If you do find any other apps that are high impact and are just not necessary, go ahead and disable them. Back in your system settings, this time we want to click on gaming, and straight away inside here, make sure that the Xbox game bar is disabled, as this can significantly lower your FPS, as it's just an overlay that's not really necessary at all, so make sure that this is disabled. In addition to that, on the left hand side, you can click on game mode, and make sure this is enabled, as it optimizes your PC for gaming. And after doing that, you can go into the graphics settings tab, and I highly recommend using the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as this can reduce latency and improve performance. In addition to that as well, I like to select my favourite slash most played games in here. After that, go back into your system settings and click on the privacy tab right here. Then first things first, you want to make sure that the privacy options are all unchecked as these are just unnecessary and can slightly reduce your performance. So make sure that all of these are disabled. And after doing that, if you scroll down on the left hand side, you should see an option called background apps. If you click on that, you will see these are all of the background apps applications that are running in the background that are just so unnecessary and take up resources. So go ahead and disable all of that. If you want any of them, you can just simply open them. You don't need them running in the background. And the final thing I like to do on the system settings is go into the Windows Update and Security tab and actually make sure that my Windows is up to date, which as you can see, it does require an update, which I will do. I myself, I really like to keep everything up to date, including Windows, as in most cases, these new updates do fix bugs, crashes, and many more things. However, some people can actually get more of that when they do update, so this one is a personal preference one. But that right there has been all the most important Windows 10 optimizations. If you've got any of your own, please be sure to leave them in the comment section so you can help out everyone as well. That would be really much appreciated. Another thing that would be appreciated is a like on this video. As well, if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe as that would help me out a ton as well. That's all I've got though. I really do hope this helped you out and also be sure to check out any of my other videos on screen right now.